So we're just doing a video talking about how you can transition from casual sex into a relationship and how you might want to have that conversation. And I really liked when Reed was role modeling, um, I liked the energy he had. And mm. we wanted to talk about how you can do that without feeling off balance. I'm here with Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. And I am here with Kathy Bartuli of theintimacydojo.com. Yes. So one of the things he did when he was sharing, can you just quickly role model for people that didn't see it? Um, how, how you said it? Or we can just tell them to go watch the first video. Go watch the first video. When he was saying that he, he was starting, he was, he was role modeling that he was, you know, I, I, we, it was I was role modeling that I, I'm, I'm noticing that I'm having feels like we're, you know, we've been casual lovers for however long. And I'm just letting you know, like I'm, I'm catching myself having feels like in the way that I catch myself having feels is like, I'm thinking about what it would be like for us to date. We're like, when I'm really in it, I'm like, <clears throat> what would it be like if Kathy and I moved in together and then <laughs> planted flowers and then tended a garden? Like, I'm just letting you know, like, that's what I'm catching my brain doing. Yeah. I totally have it under control, but I just wanted to let you know, because if you are, are sensitive to energy or like me, after all this time, you might notice me being weird. It's probably that I'm, it's my feet, I'm having feels weird. You don't have to do anything about it. I figured I would mention it to you. And if you are having feels too, or would like to investigate us having feels for each other, like we can, we can make that a conversation. Are we planting daisies or daffodils? Wow. No, I just, <laughs> thank you for that. It was a joke. I can't believe that you only have daisies or daffodils. The world is not binary, Kathy. <laughs> it's already not gonna work. Um, um, so, oh, I like roses. Oh. Roses. <laughs> um, so when he was sharing, I think for a lot of people, myself included, I don't find that I'm attracted that way to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So when I do find someone, it's like I feel very vulnerable and like my identity is wrapped up mm -hmm. in that. And when Reed was sharing, he was still very grounded and centered in himself. He was like... I'm still me, I'm st at least how it occurred from the outside. Like, I'm still me, I'm sharing something vulnerable, and I'm still okay. Yeah, I'm not trying to pull your energy or like... Yeah, I'm not trying to make it okay. If you don't give me the right answer, yeah. I'll be crushed. Yeah, like I didn't feel like I had to take care of him. I really felt like he had that handled, like, and that felt really safe. So mm -hmm. I could listen careful, listen well and easily. And I felt like if I said, oh, that's not how I'm feeling, like... He would have it handled and I wasn't wouldn't necessarily end a great casual sex relationship um, might but at least no, just... well I mean if, if it were it would just be because oh hey just so you know I'm having the feels for a relationship mm -hmm. and so I can no longer be having I can I can no longer be responsible for keeping things cat keeping things casual right and then but that's a very adult conversation to have about something you know that's casual mm -hmm. but you like, were handling it very adult like it yeah. felt very he was contained in, in, in himself versus like i need you i want you like you need to make me okay around this mm -hmm. um so that i just i think that that's really important and it's hard sometimes to get there when we're we feel like our identity is wrapped up in that well it can also be it can also be hard to get there if you're starving yeah. Like if you've been waiting for five years for a real relationship to really like somebody mm -hmm. and in, you know, having a casual relationship, you get really clear that this might be somebody you want to make a go of with. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I mean, the, the, this isn't the same, but I think this is a decent analogy yeah. is if you've been waiting to have a child and you just haven't met the right person. Mm -hmm. And then you met somebody and you're like, oh shit, right. like, I think you might, I might want you to be the father or the mother of my kid. Mm. <clears throat> I think societally speaking, we get like, oh wow, like that's a thing, like that could happen. But we don't think, we don't take casual sex seriously enough to be like, oh yeah, that is kind of a thing. Like you being casual, everything's fine. And then something shifts. And now you have to really have a, a grown-up conversation yeah. about this. Well, I think it can really help, too. Reed tends to, he said earlier that he speaks up right away. And I think if we're kind of sitting on it, trying to decide, it, do I risk it? Um, That's we, your signal to speak up. Yeah. But if In my opinion. Often, when we're try, we'll try things on, humans tend to try things on to see if it's worthwhile. And we'll create possibility and daydream about things. 
like we're talking about the flowers, like I can just see the picket fence and the flowers. At least, right. But the sooner you talk about it, like if you start daydreaming, um, and I encourage my clients to talk early if they can, because once we start getting attached to the possibility, it's really hard to let go and it's hard to keep our own balance because we're like, I have already gone down. I know what the wedding dress would look like. Here's the erotic novel I've written about us <laughs> yes. and our happy flowers. It's not just daffodils. It's roses too. Read it. <laughs> um, but it is like there, there's that possibility and the attachment to the outcomes that mm -hmm. can pull people off, off balance. Yeah. Um, and just practicing speaking up and practicing like, okay, oh, I got off balance, but I can come back to me. I'm still okay. I, you know, like I can take care of myself. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? What are your thoughts? These are actually complex things, like societally speaking, you know, taking your casual sex seriously. And then how do you have a grown up conversation about liking, liking somebody? Yeah. Um, these are not things that are normally just talked about. Yeah. So what do you think? Yeah, and we really appreciate you writing the questions. They're great. Please leave more below, leave comments, subscribe, or share this video. And more importantly, before you go, in the comments below, what flowers would you plant? Daffodils? Roses? What were the other ones? Uh, daisies. Daisies? Or a little bit of both. What would you plant? <laughs> Thanks, everyone.